at the most basic level for us to use a parameter utils we all we have to do is flag one of the nodes as our parameter uh, node so i have this null node it's going to be an option uh, i set this active param environment variable just press on it and now this node is flagged as a flagged as a node that we want to create our new parameters to and now just go to the any node and start assigning parameters to it so uh, just right click on it, right click on it and it's going to be a new menu and start assigning some of these parameters like that so now we have basically automatically created a parameter we have created parameters inside this control node and we have uh, automatically created uh, references to this node and now you can actually go ahead inside this node and start changing parameters of this node from this node like that i have a sub network and in this i'm going to put in a box and i want to for some reason control this inside uh, for from this node i'll have to do is do the same thing uh, oh that's actually d oh my bad Pressing S, so like that, you can see it basically goes automatically creates a two steps out. So from this node and then to this and then to the correct one. So let's say I put this 3.3. Let's go to the control. You can see it's 3.3. For digital asset, there is an additional feature for us to actually assign the parameters to the definition of this digital asset. So let's go. Let's open up this uh, allow the contents. And let's start assigning some basically the same parameters on top of this HD. So go ahead and you see if this uh, I want to flag this as, an, as a parameter and if it detects that this is actually an HDA that we can edit, there's going to be additional uh, menu that's going to be assigned to HDA definition. So let's start assigning some of these to the HDA definitions like that. So let's go, go outside here go to the type properties you can see now we have this assigned as the HDA definition parameters and not as a spare parameters that would uh, basically disappear when we delete this node so I'm going to uh, save node type and let's delete this and now let's call back this uh, digital as you can see now we have basically the basically uh, save these parameters on top of the HDA as a definition and not these pair parameters. If you want to remove a parameter we have to we can actually do it from the tool and actually create it for the specific reason for us to also unset any of these parameters that we have set up. So let's say I have now referenced these parameters. Let's say I do not want to reference this anymore. Go set here and remove parameter. Let's say I want to remove also the size go back to this box you can see the size is actually uh, uh, un, uh, basically the reference is basically deleted and the original and the parameter value that was uh, set up was actually uh, and basically remains as a static value so this basically gives us option for us to not need to go ahead and manually once we have deleted the parameter uh, go ahead inside and unreference the parameter that doesn't even exist because we have deleted so that's that and we can also remove the parameter environment variable for some reason if you want to and we can one other thing is that we can do a jump to the active parameter node so let's say I'm inside this uh, network I press on jump to the network as you can see there's going to show where it is and like I said jump is going to basically jump to this node where we have assigned our parameters like that so that's it for this initial release of this tool which i'm definitely going to update i think there's going to there can be some pretty cool stuff and also maybe assigning automatically multi-parameters so that's something to look inside the future but obviously if if i haven't released anything it's kind of like a, i just wanted to get inside people's hands and see any of the bugs because I'm just the one person I can't really see any every use cases of this tool and if there's bugs please uh, write me an email and all of that so okay so take care and see you next time